All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and this is your weekly Zer PSA. He's in the Winding Cove on EDZ, the usual spot. Like I said before, there's only three spots he has right now in Destiny 2. First up, he has the Merciless, which is a fusion rifle. It's actually really good, especially in the fusion rifle season. So if you haven't gotten this bad boy yet, make sure to get it. Non-lethal hits make the charge rate go up like crazy. It's actually pretty strong. Um, I don't think it's meta right now, but it does have certain applications that make it really, really good for melting uh, bosses and such. And we've got Shinobu's Vow, which is a really good uh, exotic hunter gauntlet for uh, if you're using skip grenades. This will make them super strong, give you double. Um, really tough to fight against with Shinobu's Vow. And this roll is actually really good. 65 stat roll with 17 recovery. It's solid. Um, next up, we have the Worm God Crest, which was recently disabled because it was bugged with uh, Middle Tree Hammer. Did like stupid damage to Atheon. You could one hit kill him with a baby hammer. Um, this roll only has a good stat, like 66 stats, but it doesn't have any strength on it. So it's a good roll overall, but you know, you probably would want strength on it considering it's a melee oriented exotic. So grab that if you don't have it. And this Apotheosis Veil um, gives you ability energy on supercast and allies get class energy. So I almost never see anyone using this. Um, that seems like a really odd perk to get from this. I think it used to just give you like health regeneration when you popped your super back in the day. But either way, this is a good stat roll though. So I would definitely grab it and hang on to it if they ever buff it or change it. 23 recovery is solid. I'll have to grab that myself. Next up we have the 7 Seraph Carbine. It's a 450 RP mod rifle. They recently buffed this archetype. Autoloading Vorpal is actually a, a perk combination that's really good for most weapons. Except primary ammo weapons tend to not be the best for this. Uh, could be a good champion, you know, auto rifle though. So like, I would grab one if I were you. Uh, and just let it collect some dust in the vault. Um, the last prediction with Kill Clip is really nasty. It will increase the time to kill. Uh, so that could be worth grabbing. You could also increase the time to kill with this with just Rampage. And Under Pressure is probably, probably solid. Um, probably doesn't synergize really well with Kill Clip though. Next up we have Whispering Slab, Killing Wind Swashbuckler. Can skip that. Timelines Vertex. Shield Disorient. Elemental Capacitor. You can skip that. Main Ingredient. Moving Target Backup Plan. Skip. And Outrageous Fortune. Snapshot Rampage. Not good. This Crowd Pleaser is pretty good though. Quick Draw with Proximity. This is a pretty solid um, PvP grenade launcher if you want to rock one. Definitely grab that bad boy. I will be grabbing that myself. Uh, in terms of armor, this Gauntlet. I'm on my Hunter. So I've got Gauntlet. 62 stat. Pretty good distribution. Chest piece um 62 stat not as good distribution cloak is a cloak that's a terrible helmet and 62 stat as well so we got three 62 stat armors just sitting there waiting for you to grab they do come at a pretty steep cost though with 50 legendary shards um i would say overall the boots and the gauntlet are the best for this week though uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe with notifications on see you in the next one thanks for watching later